Hey everyone, Jordan here with Iron and Grit. This is episode seven of the podcast and we're going to get into what is the best time of day to work out? Morning, afternoon, middle of the day, in the evening. Uh, We'll go through the pros and cons of each and which one might be best for you. And just a reminder, new merchandise has dropped on ironandgrit.net. I've got new snapback hats that look fantastic. I've also got long sleeve shirts, hoodies, short sleeve shirts, and workout tank tops. If you want to check it out at ironandgrit.net. Any one that you buy goes to supporting me and supporting the podcast. So if this is something that has given you value, I'd appreciate it if you uh, would pick up a, a nice shirt. So with that being said, go ahead and enjoy the podcast. Thanks for listening. Hey there, thanks for tuning in. This is Jordan Hosbein with the Iron and Grit podcast. We are on episode six, or maybe it's seven. I don't know which, but either way, I'm enjoying these podcasts, and I hope you are too. Uh, I think I'm putting out some good content, and I think you're going to get some more value from it as time goes on. Um, So uh, yeah, let's jump into today's episode. Today, I want to talk about when is the best time to work out. Um, and the simple answer is, drum roll, whatever time works for your schedule. And I know that's kind of a cop-out answer, but that is the best answer. Um, everyone's schedule is different. Everyone's life is hectic. Um, and there's really, whatever is going to get you into a flow and get you into a routine and keep you consistent that is what time you are going to want to do your workout. So maybe that's in the morning, first thing in the morning when you wake up, or maybe that's during your lunch break between 11 and one, or uh, maybe it's in the afternoon, or maybe it's uh, late in the evening before bed. It really is up to you what works for you. Um, And there could be a bunch of different factors that play into that. you know, uh, just depending on what you have in your life, uh, where your gym is located. If you have kids, are you skating across town to go here and there um, between work and the gym and all that and home and all that kind of stuff? So um, I've done it all. I've worked out in the mornings. I've had routines where I went in the early afternoon, and I've also had workout routines where I went in the evening or very late at night like sometimes almost up until midnight back in the day when I worked at the pizza shop throughout high school and college. So they have my schedule can accommodate it then. I would say that uh, they definitely have their pros and cons. And like I mentioned before, some workout times are going to be better catered to uh individuals. So um, it's best just to try it out and uh, see for yourself what you like and what works best for you. So for the mornings, I'll start with the mornings. Um, Working out in the mornings is my absolute favorite for a lot of reasons. Uh, Number one, it gets my ass out of bed because I usually have to be to work at a certain time. And uh, that means that I have some time pressure to get up, throw my clothes on, get to the gym, get my workout in, and get back home, showered, eat before uh, 8 o'clock. So that really helps push me. So I like having that that uh, external pressure in order to, to get into the gym and to really get a great workout. Um, other benefits of working out in the morning is the gym is usually empty. And the people that are there mean business because they're under some time pressure too, for the most part. So you know, a lot of a lot of professionals are usually in the gym early, so if you do get a chance to mingle with them, uh, they can help you with networking, and they usually can teach you a thing or two about training as well, because uh, they're serious about it, because they take their health and their body seriously, because they make it a priority. They're doing it first thing in the morning, so the crowd in the gym um, is less. 
The quantity of people is less, but the quality of people is better, let's say. Um, in the afternoon, the afternoon's cool. The afternoon is usually dead. There's less people there. Or I'm sorry, around noon, like if you go at your lunch break, there's usually less people at the gym then um, than any other time. Not too many people want to like shower in the morning, then go to work, then work out at their lunch break, have to shower again, get redressed, go back to work and still find time to eat their lunch. Um, sometimes it can be a hassle, but other times it works great for people. Some people like that mid-afternoon uh, break to get, um, or that afternoon break to get their blood pumping again and um, so they can finish the day strong. So um, I've tried it. Not a huge fan. I didn't like the, uh, the extra maintenance and upkeep of having to, to shower halfway through my day. Um, and, and put on the same clothes I was wearing. It just, it just wasn't for me. Um, and then the afternoon. So right after work is the most popular time to work out. And to see a lot of great people in the gym. But uh, that's also the problem, too, is because the gym is crowded. And you're very unlikely to get through an entire workout without having to wait for a piece of equipment or the right size dumbbells because there's a line there's a line of people waiting at a squat rack or the deadlift platform or even on a treadmill or elliptical for that for that matter um so you're gonna have to fight the crowd in the afternoon a lot of people you're 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 usually stronger in the afternoon and you also have um so that can add to your workout um you're you're awake uh so that could be an advantage over going first thing in the morning. It's less of a shock to your system. Um, you have pent up stress from work that you can unleash on the weights, which can help you get a better workout if you go in the after work. Um, typically, I'm not as fresh in the afternoon. Um, I like going in the morning. Um, I will say that getting up and going in the morning it's it's tough but once you get the motor revved up like i have my best workouts in the morning because i'm fresh and i'm focused and sure it takes me a few sets to get into my groove but once i'm in it i'm rocking the afternoon workouts on the other hand it um there's so many people there sometimes that it's it can be challenging to just really focus on yourself and what you have to do. You have to be kind of aware of your surroundings. There's people moving close to you with heavy ass weights. You get that thought through your head like, I don't know, what if this asshole drops this weight on the bench or hits me or something, which um never actually seen happen. Hope it never happens. Um, but um, <laughs> it's just a thought. And uh, a possibility, I guess. But it's it's a small distraction. I don't get too wrapped up in it, obviously. Um, but um, it can serve to be a distraction with all of those people around. Um, the, the main thing, though, is having to wait between sets. I like fast-paced workouts. I can go from one thing to another to another right away. I like doing supersets and tri-sets and mega-sets where I'm doing two, three, four exercises back-to-back to back to back sometimes and uh, you need the equipment available in order to go from one directly or immediately to the other um, and that's easy in the mornings a little more challenging uh, after work so that being said um, let's see kind of lost my train of thought there for a minute the 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 afternoons are, shit, I'm going to have to edit this out. What was I just talking about? Sorry, I'm driving again, and it's uh, there's some snowy, wintry conditions uh, in Michigan. It's about 6 in the morning. Just drove to Benton Harbor, Michigan, or St. Joseph, Michigan, from Grand Rapids. Left my house at, like, 4 in the morning, and... Uh, Roads were, were pretty pretty shitty. Um, we got snowed on last night all down the main highway there, I-96. So uh, just navigating that has been fun. But hey, I made it. Got the new truck. Got to try out the 4x4. Uh, pretty awesome. But uh, yeah, and you guessed it. I'm on my way to the gym. About to roll into the parking lot here shortly. 
But anyway, guys, um, you know, it's, it's also, I remember what I was going to say. The other thing, the other drawback about lifting after work is it's just easy not to go. It's easy to just not go to the gym because you're tired. You worked all day. You're mentally exhausted. Your willpower is depleted. You don't feel like being disciplined. You just want to go home. You want to eat something. You want to go out and have happy hour. Um, something could come up and it's very easy to convince yourself to not go to the gym. You don't have that problem in the mornings. In the mornings, you just go to the gym and that's it. That's all there is to it. And you've got it done and uh, you're primed and ready for the day. And uh, you have an excellent day and you don't have to worry about going to the gym. So then after work, you can go do whatever. You can go grab a beer. You can go uh, go see a movie. You can do whatever you want because you've already got your workout done. So also that's, a, that's another benefit of working out in the morning that uh, I'm a huge fan of. So speaking of primed, uh, morning workouts are awesome because they shock my system. They wake me up and they get me primed and ready for the day. Um, if you think about it relative to the rest of your day, if you're deadlifting 400 pounds or you're squatting 300 pounds, that's not easy. So once you've already done that, everything else in your day gets a little bit easier. Like you're ready to go. Like you kind of get like this, this, this swagger, this warrior mindset that it's like, Hey, I've already, I've already punished myself today. What else you got? So it, it kind of puts a, 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 it puts a chip on your shoulder in that way. Um, but it doesn't make you like aggressive or, or mean or anything. It actually makes you after a workout, I'd always get like this really sense of calm uh, relaxed. I'm in this calm and relaxed state. And, uh, that makes me feel really good and it makes me have a really good day. Um, I can listen to people better. I can pay attention to people better. I I have a mental clarity and I can focus better when I'm talking or trying to concentrate on work. So that's just yet another reason why I enjoy working out first thing in the morning, because it kind of prepares my body and it prepares my mind for the day ahead. Um, and it, it gives me the the confidence and the well-being and the uh, the calm, cool collectedness that I like to have uh, when I go into a hectic work day. So it kind of I've heard the rock say this before, but working out first thing in the morning, it kind of serves as your anchor. No matter what happens during the day, if you got that one thing done, you kicked ass in the morning, got a great workout, you did something good for yourself. You've got that. You've got that. Uh, rock that foundation for the day to stand upon. So I really enjoy getting a good solid workout first thing in the morning, every single morning, um, gets oxygen into your system. You know, you're thinking better, you're moving better, you're feeling better. Can't really beat that. So, uh, that's, that's all I had to say for today, guys. Um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments, send me a note, don't forget to check out ironandgrit.com. I have a lot of nutrition advice and diet suggestions as well as workouts there and some interesting and unique exercises you may have never heard of that can really help train your muscles in a new way to create uh, more growth. And uh, you can follow me on Instagram at ironandgrit. And that's my time for now. Don't forget to please rate this podcast five stars and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.